Okay, so we're going to be going on to part two of the dice tutorial. We're going to be drawing uh, side two and side three. This will follow similar steps to part one, where we drew a circle, we dimensioned it into place, we dimensioned the circle, and we cut it. Well, there will just be a few wee differences. So I'm going to start my sketch, as always, when I'm going to be starting um, a new uh, feature on Inventor. I want to start drawing it in 2D first, and then I can use my 3D commands to make it 3D. So I've just drawn my two circles there with a circle tool. It doesn't really matter where I'm putting them, but I want them roughly to be in place. Um, but now we're going to secure them in place by dimensioning them. So I'm going to dim dimension between that side and the centre, and I'm going to make this 12.5. So just like what we did before, but I'm making it uh, up in the top corner with different sizes. Now when I'm doing that, I'm just clicking the edge, once and then I'm clicking the center and then I'm moving my mouse out to the right hand side and I'm clicking again and then typing in the size. If you do this and then you click and then you just click the tick you can always go in and change this size. It's a bit good thing about Inventor where you can go back in and change sizes after the fact. Now I'm going to make them the size that I want so I want these to be the same as on part one so I'm just going to be doing these to 10 and that's that. Once you've finished uh, everything that you want to sketch in 2D, then you can go to Extrude, or you can finish Sketch, and then you can go to Extrude, or whatever other tool you're using, and then you can uh, make it 3D. So I'm going to want to select the faces that I uh, want to extrude, and as you can see, it sort of highlights the other areas that you could click. So I could have clicked this, but this isn't quite what I want. This would be adding size to it, and this um, is just a rectangle. So I want to be adding the squares. If you do anything like that, you can always undo or just click cancel. Well, I'm going to do it properly this time, so I'm just going to click the uh, circle and the circle. And just like in here, we want to subtract some um, mass of object. So it says cut an inventor, but uh, at National 5, the SKA want you to be saying subtract, so I'm going to start saying subtract even though it says cut. So that's that side done. So number 3 is just link 1 and 2, so we'll go through this quite quickly, just going through all the steps that we've been doing. So I'm going to draw my three circles. I'm then going to dimension them into place so they don't move. So 12.5, 12.5. Time we're going to do 25 so that's right in the center. Make this 12.5 and 12.5. So it is a lot of just the same thing. In the next videos, we're going to be looking at using mirror and a rectangular pattern. So some of these steps will be a wee bit quicker. So once I've got that, I've had a wee check and I'm happy with how it all looks. I'm going to finish sketch, extrude, I'm going to click the three circles and I'm just going to subtract it again. So there we go, very sim uh, similar to the first uh, two faces, uh, following the same steps. There's no new tools there, but it's good to just keep practicing, uh, to keep doing doing. Them, using them tools and using them processes so that it becomes second nature. So in the next video, as I said earlier, we'll be looking at doing mirror and a rectangular pattern. So we'll be doing the four face in the next video where we'll be using the rectangular pattern tool. So click onto that video if you need that. Thanks.